What's up, everybody? And this morning, I woke up with some amazing, amazing news. Somebody from my doctor's office called me and they're like, hey, Mr. Saeed, your knee brace is ready, sir. When would you like to come pick it up? And I was like, what? Is this a dream? Like, did, did like that much time pass since my surgery? Is it time for my knee brace? And he's like, yeah, uh, can you come? And I was like, I can come tomorrow. And that's how I'm going to be picking up my knee brace tomorrow. First, I have therapy at 11 a.m. So I'll probably do that on the drive there. And then I'll just pick it up. And I just want to say, like, this really means the most to me. Something that's been holding me back the most was this, you know, situation I'm in where I can't bend my knee. Um, even, like, right now. So, like. I can do everything, I just can't bend my knee. I can walk, I can take steps, as long as it's one step at a time, up, down, and I can drive as long as I hold my knee, my leg straight. So that, that's been kind of whack. So overall, it's been very difficult. It's halted a lot of my plans, a lot of my motivation to make these videos for you, then potentially some other videos where I'm outdoors. And honestly, for the past, like, Three weeks, I've been breaking down. I have not been good. Like, I've just been feeling like something's wrong with me. I'm not getting work done fast enough. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. And then I sometimes I forget that, like, I just had surgery. So let me be a little nicer to myself, a little easier on me. And I want to start talking about all these plans that I have. For those who don't know, I do have a meal prep. It gets delivered. However, it didn't fucking come this Monday. Hopefully, they better not charge me. They better not fucking charge me. Um, because this week, for me, is already done, though. Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I can manage. So, I'll, I'll get back on it uh, by Monday, next week. But, I'm on a meal plan. I have a month's supply of water here. Uh, it's right here but there there but it's literally like i cut it off but if i zoomed out a little you would see like five boxes of essential water there and for me that's been the greatest maintainer for me i know what the meals are i know they're 500 calories um then my water intake has been pretty good because if i see a, wa uh, a bottle just sitting there all day and it's not getting finished, like, I'll be like, oh, shit, I got to go finish that water. So I've been making sure I'm maintaining at least a bottle and a half a day. Uh, it's 50 liters, so, like, 75 liters. 75 liters. 75 ounces a day, 1.5 liter. So I'm drinking about 2.5 liters a day. So we'll just, you know. That's the best range I could think of. This means that my whole gym routine can be constructed again. Um, I had this thing where I would, I would literally go every day. Um, I would skip a workout day and I would have a recovery day where I would just go to the gym to stretch steam room, sauna, pre-COVID, and maybe do a little bicycle, maybe um, like a little bicycle and maybe some, what would you call those? Like, uh, ro like rolling out my muscles and just anything to help me recover so that the next day I'm back at it. And this was basically a daily routine for me. Um, as you guys know, there's no shower here. So being there every day was great. Uh, I got to do everything I needed to do, shower, change, shave, work out. And this would all be all in the morning before I even started my day. It would be so inspirational. I have so many videos from before COVID, from when this shit really all started happening and 
it just sucks because I feel like I'm being inconsistent with you guys. But I promise you that if it wasn't for COVID and if it wasn't for my freaking knee, um, things would be so different right now. And I really hope you guys appreciate how much work I've been doing. I literally have done everything from the ground up while my car was totaled the same day I signed the lease for this studio and having to go uh, having to go through ACL surgery, ACL repair surgery. So please appreciate the quality of this video. Um, if you want something to compare to look at a video called my first stream on my video. And if you look, <laughs> shit is fucked up. So for me, guys, this is a big moment. I want to make some plans finally, you know, like, you know, like I've felt that I've just been handcuffed. I felt that everyone was moving at a much faster pace than me. I'm like, like, you know, when you got the, when you got the bandage on your knee and you got like the, the hat, the, the light cast on, that's a normal daily reminder of, okay, you know, you shouldn't feel bad. You obviously have some things holding you up right now. But that was like the first month and a half. After that, you don't need to wear that big ass um, brace anymore. You just can't bend your leg. And that's when you realize like, damn, I walk funny. I walk slow. I can't take the steps. I can't really do anything. And your heart and your mind is just dying to just fucking jump and run and, and work out and do all this shit. So you, you tend to forget it. You tend to forget like all of these things that you just beat, you just came from. And rather than beating myself up, I fucking give myself a round of applause. Joe, you did what so many fucking people could not do. What's going on in this room right now, I promise you from the bottom of my heart, it has been nothing but attention to detail, quality, and putting you guys before myself. I cannot tell you how many videos I have made that have not made it to the to the red carpet, <laughs> to online. It has not made it. I just would watch it after I shoot it and go, you guys deserve better than this. You guys, like for the ones who know me, they know I'm a bit of a perfectionist. And for the ones that will soon get to know me, I, I would hate to leave a bad impression. Like, oh, look how lazy this guy is. Or listen, even me doing a lazy job is better than a lot of these other people. But I put a lot of work into this shot, to this shot right here a lot of money a lot of my savings and definitely a lot of sacrifice time learning the craft and tweaking it and getting everything working in smooth order smooth operation because i'm a smooth operator and that's what this is so sit back let me talk about how I'm going to approach this going forward. And I would love some advice because I'm planning on going full blown Shabana, banana, Habana, cabana. Like I need to drop 20 pounds before I can ever step back on a basketball court. I have so many beautiful clothes, dress clothes, gym gear, and like really nice outfits that are one size too big for me right now. And most importantly, the amount of pressure I put on my knee, like putting 20 pounds less per step is a big fucking deal. I'm 30 years old now. And oh my God, in 25 days, I'm going to be turning 31. So we have a lot going against us. Time, money. Um, so I really hope, I really hope this is it, guys. I don't have any enemies yet. Hopefully, hopefully I don't develop any enemies. The last thing I need is some enemies. I need some friends. That's truly what I need. I need some goddamn friends. So, please, 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 just hang on, because I got something right there for ya. Oh yes. Oh yes. I brought it up on one of my previous videos and I said, the next time we're gonna crack this, 
So we crack in it. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you horchata. This right here is going to be the, I don't know, probably the tastiest out of all of the backpack boys that I've had. I mean, it's going to be definitely difficult to beat Scotty Pippen. That shit was delicious. Oh, shit. I actually have the empty bag of Scotty right here. So we're going to crack the horchata. We're going to make a fucking... There we go. We're going to make a nice roll. And then we'll talk about all these plans I have coming up. For those of my smokers who are out there, please roll something up at this time. Join me. Obviously, as you know, this video is pre-recorded, but one day it's not going to be. I promise you, one day this will be a live video where you can tune in and you can speak to me, listen to me, smoke with me, whatever works for you guys. And I'd love to be there. There's nothing that would mean more to me than learning from you guys. Leave a comment if you don't like the video, but don't just dislike it. I mean, tell me why. I'm more interested about knowing about the dislikes than the likes, which is probably fucking crazy. So we're gonna chill out a little bit. I'm gonna crack this open, but let me get a little water. <laughs> fucking thirsty, boy. Fucking thirsty. What? That was the fastest. It made some ice. That's crazy. And I... What the hell? Well, I got some... I guess I got some ice water. I was just trying to... I was just trying to make it a little cooler, but... I don't know. I'm not a fan of drinking, like, really cold water anymore. I used to do that all the time. No more. It's not good for you. Mm -hmm. It's too cold. I'm going to let that cool off a little bit. Orchata. I don't know what the fuck that means, but it says Calidad Suprema. We're going to remove this tamper evidence sticker right here on this side first. And I kind of started this thing where I keep these... I keep these void stickers and I'm starting to put it here on this table right here that I have. And the idea is to fill up this table with all the stickers because I have no life. Damn. Damn. Fuck. This shit reeks. For those who don't know why I smoke, I promise you I'll have a video on my channel as to why I smoke. Personally, shit. Fuck, you reek. Bad girl. Bad girl. Shit. What the fuck? And I just now opened it. Oh my god. Goodness. Can I show you guys? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm sorry that I don't have the drop down camera yet, but I please take my word for it. What I can see from here is crazy. I'm in love right now. Y'all know me. I'm all about the raw. But shit, that smells. I can't wait. I'm so excited. So excited. Please don't like take down this video just because of that, Kevin. Please. 
Oh. I got some weed in here from previously. Nah, 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 nah. No. We got to roll one just... Just for this. Where are we going to put you? We're going to put you right on this table right here. Ooh. That's a lot. Let's go ahead. Let's get this. Let's get this show on the road. Also, guys, if you don't want to hear my my rolling talk, please just fast, just fast. Not even fast forward. I'm gonna start using that. Stop using that word. Just click ahead. That's the. That's what's great about this is that. Oh, can you guys hear that? Can you guys just tell me if you can hear it? By the way, if you guys want some more chata, I'm sure that if you if you ask your local friends, you'll eventually get to it. I'm in New York City, so I don't know where you guys are watching from, but you know, this is where we get here. I mean, we pay a shit ton, $65 a bag. Mind you, this is a big ass bag, but it's not a quarter bag, it's an eighth. So it's a bit misleading. There's so much I want to talk about. I don't want to start yet. I hope you guys don't mind. I'd like to have the moment. It's all about scheduling. It's all about... And seeking help. Like, I will be signing up for per personal fitness. I don't want to say anymore. I don't want to say anymore. I'm not going to say a word. I'm rolling, guys. I'm not saying another word. Nice. This will be the first time I'm tasting this. And yes, I've had this bag for about a week now and I did not try it because I wanted to do it here with you guys. A mini version of why I smoke, you know, I'll go more in depth is a mini reason is my, the pain, like from the surgeries and all these like injuries I have from sports injuries, past sports injuries. So it really helps with the pain and my anxiety a little bit of my depression, all that. Oh, oh, this is, oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. Forgive me, fellas and ladies. I know this is, I like to roll the way I like to roll. Um, I could be a millionaire. I'm still going to pick up the dust that fell and put it in the J. I'll be a millionaire. And I will still have a lot of my old ways. I definitely want to add music to this video. I mean, right now there's no music, but I think that shall start. It would be wrong for me not to add the music, right? I think so. That fell, but I don't necessarily need that. I just need anything to Slide this in to help push that paper back. Look at that, done. I might have to tell you something. Damn. I like you better when I'm in. Done, guys. And yes. I will always roll it fresh in front of you guys. 
because that's part of the experience is crushing it, opening the bag, crushing it, smelling it, rolling it. I don't just, I don't know, call me crazy. I like to give it a little bit more respect than what it is. It's not just some smoke to me. It's This thing changed my life once upon a time. I had no direction. I knew nothing. I was a tadpole. And somehow, through the power of meditation and deep, high meditation, I figured out exactly... Very interesting. Oh. That's true. Sorry, guys. My Google thing tends to over-listen to me. Does it all the time. There's nothing I can really do. But anyway... The moment of truth has come where we get to light this bad boy. Right now, I'm about a hundred and ninety four, ninety three pounds, and that's twenty pounds overweight. I should be about one seventy three like low 170s. So that's absolutely, absolutely the goal. I mean, for me, the skinniest I've been in the last like 10 years has been like 186. That's the skinniest I've been in the last 10 years. And I know I can do better than that. I could do way better than that. So I'm ready to give it my all. I mean, my whole life, I can say that I've been trying to lose weight, but I have failed. I failed because my meals were off. My activities were off. My motivation was off. I mean, like, come on, like people work fucking hard to lose fucking this gut. You fat boy. People, I'm up here, by the way. People work really fucking hard to lose this gut. And I'm not saying that. It's just going to happen just because all of a sudden I decided to take it a little bit more seriously. But this time I'm going to be looking and searching for help. Like I've always done this alone and it's that's it. Like I'm not doing it alone anymore. I'm paying for personal training. I'm paying for meal prep that gets delivered. I'm paying for my month supply of water that I bring from Costco. Um, You know what? I'm actually going to shut you off. You have uh, completely let me down. Off. Done. So I've noticed on the on this phone, I mean, it, it didn't happen a lot on my note. On my note. What I had a note nine, but it seems to happen a shit ton here. So, oh my God, that is a lot of fucking... Old clips. Jeez, I gotta throw these out. <laughs> Guys, cheers. Light up. Damn, this is delicious. Is weed supposed to taste as fucking good? Or was that because that was a dry hit? Oh, man. I'm going to tell you this once. I never had horchata. But I really hope that this shit is close. I plan on doing at least... The first month of personal training, get me back in the zone, back in the habits, the good habits, uh, relieve some of the bad habits. I didn't understand that. Mm hmm. 
And now this is off. Done. Done. I'm so sorry. They're both off. Bixby and Google, fuck out of my phone. You, you guys have literally done this to me so many videos, I can't even. I feel like for the past 10 years I've been overweight. I'm getting fucking tired and fed up of it. My upbringing definitely didn't help. I grew up always being told to eat more, always being told to finish my plate. But I've been overserved. Like, how you tell me to finish my plate, but you overserve me? And, you know, like, I grew up multicultural. So I fucking loved all the food from everywhere. Literally, you guys have no idea. The food, I just, I just, I had to have my own breakup with food. Compared to, compared to 10 years ago, I mean, ask anybody. I was known for farting, like known for having the fucking worst and smelliest farts and, and fucking like that was like as a kid, like that's, you know, it's funny, but that shit ain't fucking cool. That shit ain't funny. Or, or, or being called like the leftover machine, like being proud of the fact that I can finish all the leftover in my fridge. That's my upbr upbringing. I had clear as day insecurities for being fat. <coughs> I don't know how my parents never saw it. There were so many things that bothered me. I hated not being as cool looking as some of the other kids. I hated it. I hated how so many how some pants looked on me, the shirt, like my parents would take me to go get whatever I wanted. You know, Sean John. I mean, we're talking back in the day. We're talking Sean John, Rockwear, Eniche, all that shit. North Face book bag. You know, trying to be a biker, skateboarder, and just being all that. I hated that I was just a short, fat, brown kid. That's literally what I was. And I didn't know how to overcome all that. And guess, I mean, thank God I didn't need to. <clears throat> it didn't really matter. Um. Because I developed my own style and people loved me for my personality. So, you know, I it was all like kind of self-inflicted, like, oh, my God, this and that. But I mean, like if I'm raising my kids, like I'm going to be like, oh, why don't you want that? And if he says, no, like, no, I just don't like it. But you was just talking all week if I can come get it for you. And then after you try it on. You don't like it. Even if you tell me you don't want it, all right. But I will not forget that for you. I'll remember that you didn't like the way you look in something you liked. And I know what that feels like. So subliminally, you know, like, look, you got to let kids be kids. You got to let kids get fat or a kid. You gotta, I mean, I sound crazy when I say that, but... You got to let them live to some point. But then when it's a time when it's time to take shit seriously like you're in, like I don't think anyone should go into middle school. You should go into middle school a little chubby, but you should not leave middle school chubby. In your years of middle school, you should be taught good eating habits, good reading and writing habits and studying habits like they don't even teach you how to be a student. I wish they taught me how to be a student. I used to watch this these kids who used to get high grades and this and that, and I used to just wonder, like, how are you doing this? Because I used to try, and it would not work for me. I don't know why. I mean, now I know what I was doing wrong. I wasn't studying. I wasn't focusing. I didn't know, I didn't know how to study. So 
all these problems. Like, I didn't know how to lose weight. I didn't know how to maintain my weight. I didn't know how to work out. Like, come on. I'm fucking 30 now. So, I got no more excuses. I have to handle this shit right now or for the rest of my life, I'm going to be facing these issues. Because it's not going to get easier from here. It's only going to get harder. At least that's what everybody tells me. And that's, from what I'm seeing, they're not wrong. So, I think next week, I'm going to start off with a juice cleanse. Combine that with my meal prep. Like, I'll just do like, because what I do is I do two meals a day. It's 10 meals for the week. It sounds weird, which it is weird. I can't understand how they do it that way, but I'm paying for 10 meals a week. So the way I broke it down is Monday through, like, let's say Monday through Friday, my two meals are covered. I have almond milk and granola for breakfast. So Saturday, Sunday would be like a, like a cheat day. And when I say cheat, cheat meaning I get to just have a choice of something that I want, but it can't be whatever. It can't all of a sudden be Chinese food. It can't all of a sudden be, you know, like, it, I mean, it's just in moderation, even if it is Chinese food, <laughs> at least in moderation or, or barbecue or whatever. It has to be in moderation. Um, So that would be Monday through Friday. Then Saturday, Sunday would be like my two cheat days. What I would do with the juice is have that for one of the meals. I'll figure it out. I guess it'll, it'll, it's 10 meals. It's not a lot. I mean, one day I can eat three meals. Just say, Just be like, you know what? This whole day I'm just eating my meals. Once I have a better understanding of how that system works and if it works, I'll make a video. I use I've been using Freshly. Um but and if and if it does work, if it if it's something sustainable, if it's saving me money and if it's helping me lose weight or maintain weight and if I'm enjoying the meals, those three important things, <coughs> I'll make an entire video on them. And and how I use it. Cause all I can do is just always talk about how I use it. You know, you guys could, you guys could eat the meals and then just go to McDonald's. I don't know for your <laughs> third meal. I don't know what to tell you. I just love the calorie count. Most of the meals are, most of the meals are anywhere from 480 to 520. And I love the fact that I don't have to serve myself. I don't know what to tell y'all. This shit is fucking... <coughs> this is fucking me up. But think about it. I grew up probably eating seven to 800 calorie... I'm, I'm lying like more seven to like 900 calorie per meal you know and if it was a special day I guarantee you that meal was 1200 1500 calories so here's something where I go okay I'm gonna heat this up and the thing about it is that even though you might be still hungry a little later now you can incorporate a snack like, I would never allow myself to be a little hungry. And then you know, I would be like, yo, you know what? I'm going to eat and not be hungry until I got to eat again, like properly eat again. But now having this mid space for a snack, it's wonderful because you realize that like eating a lot really slows down your metabolism. But eating in proportion, like basically three meals and two snacks, let's say somebody uh, a physical trainer out there or fucking somebody in, in health and fitness might be like no if you know the real answer please send send it this way i don't um that's why i'm still fat but I, and I, I do think i am i hide it well but i would say i'm way chubbier than i would like to be for sure and i remember a few times i lost weight i've been skinnier than this 
And I'm not, like I said, I'm not being too hard. I'm going through this recovery. But overall, uh, I have not been consistently fit ever. I don't, I actually don't ever remember being fit in my life from the moment I remembered being old enough to make my own choices. I remember I was probably fat and then somehow randomly, I remember I would lose weight here and there. But at that time, like I did not care about how I ate. So I fucked it up by how I ate at that time. Now, even though I'm very careful on what I eat, you know, 10 years later, uh, losing weight is not the same for sure. Anybody watching this video, if you're younger than me, like start now, start now. I can't wait to get through this transformation. I'd like to be an example for other people. I know so many people trying to lose weight. They'd probably take themselves more seriously if they saw me, like if they was like, Hey, you know, I've been seeing, I know Joey all of a sudden he transformed like that. It'd be an honor for me to do this for them. I would love to. The biggest change I made was I seeked help. If I had to pay, I had to pay whatever, wherever the help, like figuring out food, having to buy food. And it's, I can't, I live in New York city. Well, not literally New York city, not in Manhattan, people outside of New York call New York city. Queens, Brooklyn, like the five boroughs to people outside of New York is New York City. But inside New York, New York City is just Manhattan. So, yeah. But I live in New York. I live in Queens. And it's still a fast-paced lifestyle. Like, I'm not literally in the city, but I'm right in LIC. So... Mm. Hey, what's up, bro? Yes, sir. Why does does that bother you? You don't gotta ask me. Yeah, man. That's fine. Just knock. All right. I have someone coming over. Somebody else that takes everything very seriously too. Like I've been taking this very seriously. I hope you guys feel the same way. Like I'm not trying to shortcut anything and I'm really trying to push out the best quality I could. Please believe me on that. If I repeat anything ever, uh, I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's not easy. Plus there's a lot of videos that haven't made it. Like there was one video even just before this one that I started and I just had to do a retake. So, like I said, please appreciate the quality. I'm not sure how much it's gonna cost. That's the thing. Let me let me call my gym. We're gonna call them right now and get a little pricing. I know the key is three. We don't have to hear that all that shit. It's a Wednesday. Wow. They didn't even pick up. Wow. Okay. Fine. Maybe it's too late. It's almost 11 here. <coughs> That's fine. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll see them tomorrow. 
but definitely I'm going to be talking to them about personal training, whatever it costs. If I got to do, if I have to sell some stocks, you know, to go ahead and do that, I'll go ahead and do that. I got to invest in myself right now. I can't be self-conscious about what I'm wearing. There's a lot of videos that I make that I like, I don't like what I'm wearing in it. You know, I feel like it's, you know, whatever. It's my own insecurities, but I don't want ever my insecurity to overweigh my work ever. You know, like there's some videos that I really liked about myself that I just didn't put out. Thought I looked a little too chubby here and there, little spots here and a little too much, too much jelly roll over here and blah, blah, blah. And a little back fat over here. Okay, whatever. Because I do want to beat it. I don't want to, I, I want to be able to joke about it. But I do want to beat it. I, I do want to overcome this. And I promise, like, I want, I'm going to be logging exactly from the moment I start, from the moment my doctor gives me the, the okay to start my therapy, to start bending my knee and start, you know, getting back at it. <laughs> you know, getting back at it. So, it can't be a game anymore. Literally two back to back. And those are just things that I have to live with. It took like, so far it's taken like two and a half years of my life. Basically, like probably longer. I mean, COVID added another year off the rip. I'm not even counting 2020. And we're already in December. So I'm just saying, like, Yeah, this shit is fucking slapping ass right now. I normally wouldn't smoke this much, but I, I don't smoke a lot anymore. And I decided whenever I smoke, it's like therapy. And when it's therapy, I might as well talk to you guys. So you guys are just witnessing. I was literally sober right before this. And right now I am not sober for shit. I'm not sober for shit right now, but there's nothing that I can't do right now. There's nothing that any I would stop. If I had to go somewhere, I'd go. If I have to do some work right now, I'd do some work right now. But mind you, I'm paying that premium so that I get the weed that does that for me. I'm not fucking paying $20 to smoke some shit that's going to have me linked over right now. A lot of you guys may or may not understand that. That's the if you want to understand that, please leave a comment. Ask me below. What's the difference? Hopefully I'll make a video. What's the difference between shitty weed and good weed? There's a lot. It's the easiest way to just compare it to anything else in life. You trying to, you know, there's, there's getting a good deal and then there's trying to save money. Like sometimes trying to save money doesn't help. It may hurt, and you're going to have to G-check yourself on that. I love Essentia. If you guys are listening, please holla. Please holla. <sighs> so that's pretty much it. I was just making a video here about about finally being close. We're almost there, I promise you. All the work that I've had in my mind, everything that I wanted to do can really start coming together. Just bear with me. If you've made it to this end of the video, like if you've made it 45 minutes in, please 
I really hope you trust me. So all I can ask for, just trust me. I will not let you down. I'm a really good type of person. I don't think I, that. I don't think I'll offend anyone. And if I do, I promise it's by accident. Um, it's a, a lot of it is for comedy. Sometimes I'm just joking and I just want to talk the way I talk. I'm from New York. Certain type of people understand when I talk like that. So that's just the way it is. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. So just like certain people who understand that. I'm not going to explain it. So yeah. I would love to talk about the specific workouts, but I don't even know them. I, I'm just hoping they're going to teach me. But yeah, wow, this shit is some fucking strong shit. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. I don't even get bloodshot anymore. Like, I don't know. Maybe I do. Who knows how I look. But stick with me, guys. I'll try to have so many before and after videos. I still need to show you what my studio looks like. I haven't even made a studio tour. I haven't made a studio tour. I haven't made my... Well, I haven't lost weight, so I can show you a before and after of that. Just It's exciting for me. I was at... um my aunt's house today and I couldn't wait to get back and actually make this video for you guys because that's what it means to me that's how much it means to me but thanks for listening I truly appreciate that I think I got through uh, my few points for today and stay tuned for another one for sure Thank you. Peace.